Hello, my name is Benjamin Lee, and I am the local evangelist at the West Main Church of Christ in Louisville, Texas. Thank you for taking time to watch this video over the next couple of minutes. I'd like to talk to you today a little bit about worship. From the very beginning, worship has always been a big deal. And worship is designed to be toward our Father in Heaven. And in the Old Testament, in the New Testament, worship has always been about God. It was Jesus who said in John chapter 4, verse number 24, that God is spirit. They that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. So as we talk about this idea of worship, I want you to understand that worship has always been a big deal in the eyes of God. Now consider this example or this scenario for a moment. If you're living here in Louisville, Texas, maybe you're living somewhere else, doesn't matter really where, and you went around to, I don't know, 5, 10, 15 different local congregations, I could almost guarantee that you would see a variety of ways that people were worshiping God. In some places, you would see people have a choir as they sing to the Lord. In other places, you would go and it would probably would feel like a, a concert was taking place with the musical instruments that were being played. Then in other places, you would have very little Bible probably being taught. In other places, you may have uh, sermons that are being presented from the Word of God. Then in other places, you may see the Lord's Supper being taken every first day of the week. In some places, you may not see the Lord's Supper being taken except for particular holidays. Have you ever asked yourself why? Why is that the case? When you really think about it, think about this. Everyone is serving or worshiping the same God. I think if you went to the majority of congregations, they would say, we're worshiping the God of heaven, the one that we read about in the Bible, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You go to all of these different congregations, they probably would be teaching and, and have copies of the Word of God, and yet the worship would be totally different. Why is that the case? It's because people are not following what the New Testament scriptures actually teach. Did you know that in every age, God has given man a pattern to follow when it comes to worshiping him? When you go back to Genesis chapter 4, I'm not going to read it, but in the days of Cain and Abel, God gave Cain and Abel a pattern for them to follow when it came to offering sacrifices to him. The sacrifice of Abel was accepted. The sacrifice of Cain was not. In Exodus chapter 26, verse number 30, in the days of Moses, when God told Moses to build the tabernacle, who got to decide what the tabernacle was going to look like and the dimensions of it? It wasn't Moses. It was God. God told Moses that he was to build it according to the pattern. In Leviticus chapter 10, even the priests of God, like Nadab and Abihu, were, they were responsible for following the pattern that God had given them when it came to offering sacrifices to him. They did not follow the pattern, and as a result, they would lose their lives. Well, my friend, there's nothing different under the new covenant. God is still in heaven. Worship is still all about him. And we need to follow the pattern of worship when it comes to how we go about worshiping and giving praise to him. A simple study in the New Testament scriptures, you will find that the saints, they gathered together on the first day of the week. We read about that like in Acts chapter 20 and verse number 7. There was preaching that took place when the saints came together as a family of God. Again, Acts 20 verse number 7 demonstrates that. They came together every first day of the week to partake of the Lord's Supper. That's what Paul did. That's what the saints did in Acts 20 and verse 7. That's what Paul encouraged the saints to do in Corinth in 1 Corinthians chapter 11. They abided steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and teaching according to Acts chapter 2, verse number 42. Their worship was all about heart. They sang praises to God from their hearts according to Ephesians chapter 5, verse number 19. There were no instruments that they used. They simply sang praises and made melody in their hearts to the Lord. They gave of their means according to 2 Corinthians chapter 9. Verses 6, 7, and 8. That's how local churches supported themselves in the first century. You see, a simple uh, study in the Word of God helps us to see that the saints in the first century, they followed the New Testament pattern. They followed the apostles' doctrine. That's what we're striving to do here at the West Main Church of Christ. So when you come here on Sunday, we're going to gather together as a family. We're going to worship. We're going to pray. That's what the saints in the first century did. We're going to teach the Word of God. We're going to partake of the Lord's Supper. And we're going to give of our means. Now, maybe this will be somewhat new to you. That's okay. We'd love to study with you. Maybe you have some questions about this. Does it really matter that we do these things the, the way that God says that we need to do them? Does it really matter if we make some small little changes? Maybe that's asking the wrong question. Maybe the question we really need to be asking ourselves is, what is it that God truly desires from his people? You see, what God desires is what we need to give to him. 
We'd love to study the Word of God with you. Come out and come worship with us at the West Main Church of Christ here in Louisville, Texas. Take care and God bless. Thank you.